Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about Core Web Vitals, website speed and performance, and some of the benefits you can get from making sure you're on top of that. Now, today's session, I'm going to talk about a WordPress LAMP server, which is the best hosting you can get for an e-com setup and any other WordPress websites that you have. Now, it can be integrated with Cloudflare. You can get a better response time just from the server. But on top of that, there are other things that you can do to make sure that you get optimal performance. And I'm going to show you an example of that happening and why you might want to move over to Cloudways and get a much better performance out of your website. So in this instance, I am going to show you this particular website here, which is called BDP Contract Furniture. Now, there's a number of different tools you can use for website speed checking. Now, you've got GT Metrics, you've got Pingdom, you've got Google Page Speed Insights, and there's a whole bunch of other ones. Now, I'm going to use GT Metrics here to look at the speed of this particular website here. Now, when I run it through, it gets a Grade score of B, it's performance is 72%. Largest contentful paint is 3.2 seconds. Total blocking time is 152 milliseconds. And you can go further down and look at some of the stuff that is causing this website not to perform that well. Now it does tell me here, looks like you're running WordPress. Consider uh, monitoring your page and it gives you some little things that you can do to optimize your website's performance. Now, if we go over to Pingdom, which is just a, another example, it gives me a performance grade of C. Total load time, 488 milliseconds, but there's 78 requests, and it's marking me down for various different bits. So it's not perfect, it's not the worst website in the world, but this is just an example of what happens. So. What I want to talk about is, first of all, is how you migrate over to Cloudways. Now, you do have a number of options where you can use the hassle-free migration within no time, and you can allow Cloudways to do that for you. You simply send them a support ticket, let them migrate it for you, and then you log into your website. Now, as soon as you do that, you can log into your website and you will already have a much better performance on the website. However, I want to show you what happens when you do that migration. So, in this particular instance, I have set up a Cloudways account and I've migrated the website over to this particular server. I want to talk about some of the features first and foremost that comes with migrating over to Cloudways. Now, you can also create staging websites you can monitor your website, you can have a vulnerability scanner, bot protection, malware protection, domain management, Chrome job management, SSL certificate, which is important, backup and restore, massive security feature. If your plugins somehow blow up your website, you can simply come back into the backup and restore, press a button, and your website's back to the way it was yesterday. Now, you've also got other features here, deployment via GIT, application settings, but two of the, the, the bottom ones there, migration tools and Cloudflare, I'm also going to talk about. Now, migration tools, we talk about how do we take one website from another server over to Cloudways. Now, we can do that using the WordPress migration plugin that is there. So, you can simply download that and go and migrate the website, easy peasy. Now, as I said earlier, if you want to go and get Cloudways to do it for you, you can simply do that as well. Now, it's up to you which way you want to do it. But once we're all moved over, what else can we do to increase the performance of the website? Now, Cloudways have a deal with Cloudflare for where for an extra five bucks a month, you can get yourself on a CDN. Now, what is a CDN? Content delivery network where you get optimal performance on your website and your website loads from a server that is much closer 
to the user's location. And these servers are worldwide. So you can see that there is 200 plus unique locations and it also has a website firewall and security features built in as well. So you can also go away and use that as part of your security side of the website. Now, the website uh, is now on Cloudways. Now, one thing that I want to talk to you about first is the speed optimizer called Breeze that comes from Cloudways. Now, on here, you can see that it's telling me to update WordPress, but it also allows you further speed optimization opportunities. Now, I can go into caching here and I can enable whatever type of caching I would like to use. You can also go further into things and exclude certain URLs from caching if you wanted to. You've got total control over that. Now, there are some other options as well. Environment, front end and media. Now, environment gives you server-side optimizations that can have amazing impacts on your loading speed and time to first byte. Enforcing SSL certificate, fixing insecure content, gzip compression, browser caching, WordPress heartbeat optimization, and scheduled database maintenance, which is also a really good. So you can get further speed optimizations from that area as well. Now, of course, I have in, in, in implemented as much of that as I, I felt was necessary. Now, I can go to the front end, and again, I've already done this, but you can toggle here, switching things on and off to mess around with the, way, uh, the, the different opportunities here. So you can do a lot with minification on here and combining your CSS files, minifying your CSS files, JavaScript, and there's some other general settings there as well. So that's the front end of your website optimizations. And you have media optimizations as well, including optimization of your images and various other bits and bobs as well. So that is going to get you optimal performance on your website. So what does that actually look like in terms of speed? So, let me just check. So previously, on GT Metrics, we had 72, uh, a 3.2 here, and 152 uh, milliseconds here. Now, I have already done this for speed. Now, just doing what I've done uh, with toggling those boxes, I have been able to get a grade A, performance 89, structure 92, LCP of 2.1, no blocking time, and no CLS. So that is a much better performance with that small amount of optimizations. How does that look on Pingdom? Again, I'm using a number of different tools just to show you the difference in the speed of Cloudflare and the optimizations that they allow you to have. Now, on Pingdom, we have a grade performance of C, 79, and a load time of 488 milliseconds. We now have a performance grade of A94. There is a lot better performance by doing exactly what I've just done there. It's very simple and easy to implement. Now, when we talk about migration, everyone gets scared. Oh, how am I going to migrate? Now, you've got the option of getting Cloudflare to do it for free. You can use the plugin for free. I also use another plugin called All-in-One WP Migration where I can export a copy of any website. I simply click Export to File, download the file onto my desktop, create a new environment over in Cloudways, and simply import the file job done. It literally takes you about a minute to two minutes to move a website from one server to another. Now, I have done that in about 30 seconds. I can download the file onto 
my desktop, I can close that down, I can go to Cloudways, create the new environment and click import and the job is done. Now there is still some more to talk about. Now with Breeze, we can go in to the plugin here and we can also use Varnish. Now Varnish by default is enabled on all WordPress websites that are hosted in Cloudways. Now that is completely free, no extra charge, and it can help you increase things a hell of a lot better. Moving a lot of diff different stuff, comments, page uh, variations, and blog posts, drafts, all of that kind of stuff is cleaned up. But let's go through all of the basic options. So there is a caching system, a mobile caching system, purge, gzip compression, browser caching, then you can optimize your files, you can minify HTML and CSS, you can preload web fonts, preload links, you have some advanced options here where you can uh, never cache certain URLs or cache query strings, you also have the Heartbeat, uh, Heartbeat API, so it will help you save in your server resources. You have some database options where you can remove certain duplicated posts and various other bits and bobs. You can activate the CDN if you want to add Cloudflare. Varnish is there and you have some other tools there um, that you can take away these settings and move them over to another website as well. So that is Breeze and how you're going to get further optimizations and more website speeds to make sure that you are optimal for your online presence. Now, if you are wanting that CDN installed, it's an add-on to Cloudways. All you have to do is add the add-on and the folks that work at Cloudways will deal with all the kind of settings and everything else that is going to improve things even further. So if you want to speed up your website, I would be moving over to Cloudways. Now there will be a discount for you guys in this video below. The link is below and you too can migrate over to Cloudways completely free. You don't even have to do anything, but I've quickly shown you on here the best way if you want to get over there as quickly as you possibly can and get involved with a CDN, a better server, security backups, and all of the other stuff that I just covered in that video, and you will have a much better performance for doing that. And as an SEO, we all know that speed is also a ranking factor, so make sure you take care of it.